what drew you to to the concept of, of looking at, at a day's work? Well, I had written a book about, my last book was a book about coal mining, uh, told through my family, or we're all coal miners and steel workers, stuff like that way back. I so remember, because I remember this, the, there are still 12, at least when you wrote it, there are 12 coal miners left? Something that's right, like that? something like that. I remember that, that yeah, number, that's right, yes. That's right, yep. that's right. When we talked yep. about that, yeah. Yep. Which, and so they're a vanishing, uh, underground coal miners as opposed to strip miners. And so they're a vanishing breed. And double only at that point, a random house was, you know, they, we had talked about another book. We were talking about a book about sort of disappearing work. And, and it sort of morphed into a book about, you know, I guess the importance of work and, I, and work as a as sort of social history and what can be learned from work. So from that, so it just sort of morphed into this book about work as a way to tell a story of Canada, uh, disappearing work, and you know, it's sort of sepia tinted look back upon uh, uh, simpler times, I guess. I'm not so old, but I remember uh, there were, I think, three dairies in my town. <laughs> And I do remember one of them actually delivering to because the neighbor ha took a different kind of milk than we did, yeah. and a horse-drawn uh, truck. It was Sorry. the last horse, yeah. last truck, still <laughs> delivering milk yeah. with a with a cart. I mean, delivering milk alone. Yes. And I'm shocked to discover there's still a guy there is. delivering milk that's somewhere that's in Canada well, who right. hasn't got the memo or <laughs> <laughs> or has yeah. he? Well, I. I mean, his father did it. Uh, his father delivered milk to my family with a, a milk cart, Bill Bennett in Halifax, and, it, and Bill does it to this day. Uh, yeah, he didn't get the memo. He didn't, um, he didn't hear that you're not supposed to do that kind of thing anymore. You're not supposed to do it in, a, uh, you know, in, that, in that personal fashion. But I guess he's following in that, in that tradition. It's what he knows. Um, people still need milk. I think he takes some... He takes some pride and some pleasure in because it's a it's a hard job. He takes some pride and some pleasure in getting the milk out to people. Um, yeah, it's it's very unusual. I mean, uh, the most in most cases, a lot of people I talk about in the book are people that have been doing it for generations and continue to do it. Uh, in some cases, because they don't know anything else, but in some cases, because they see value in, in what they're doing. I think. Which of the people did you feel the most attachment to? That's a good question. Um, uh, I felt it was some of the some of the work was somewhat similar to things I've done, so it was not too alien. So, for example, the the traveling salesman. Um, I've sold stuff in previous jobs, and through being a reporter and just writing for magazines or papers, you, you spend a lot of time getting in a car, going around and talking to strangers, just walking up to strangers and trying to get them to, to talk to you, which is not unlike... Selling your book? Selling a book <laughs> or selling, you know, whatever, uh, selling some toilet paper or whatever it is. Uh, uh, so I felt, I, I knew that somewhat and I, vinyl, I mean, I like music, so I felt an, uh, an affinity for that. I think the ones I enjoyed the most, the ones I found most engaged by, were the ones that were the furthest removed from my experience. So I really enjoyed uh, Pierre Bedard, the blacksmith, spending some time with him, just because it was so different. And so that really seemed to be one of the jobs that was really, that had the longest legs, that went back the furthest into into history and time, and I really enjoyed Mars Vino, the uh, um, the rancher, the cattle rancher, just because that was so cool, just being out there in this just huge, huge vistas, and uh, I mean, her, but I could never do that. She gets up in the morning, gets on a horse, and goes and by herself rides around all day, mends fences, does whatever needs to be done. Uh, the hours are long; it's physically hard. I can't ride a horse. I, you know, I, the ADD would kick in, <laughs> but I, I felt genuinely uh, engaged with with those. I mean, my my work, you know, my experience would be closest to 
Steve Forbes, the the uh, the salesman, and of course the newspaper guy, Paul McNeil in, in PEI. But I mean, they're all. It was a, an incredible experience, all of them, really. Now, if someone held a gun to your head and said, uh, "John, you have to pick one of these jobs, or I will squeeze the trigger. <laughs> you have to give up writing and become." So you uh, would become a. Well, maybe I I, pr I might own, I might have that vinyl I might have the vinyl store. I might sell I might sell music. That would be that'd be pretty cool. Some of them I just know I I. I can tell you the ones I couldn't do, for sure. I mean, Bill Bennett, the, the military, it's just too physically hard. I mean, I just, it's too hard. The hours are too long. Uh, you know, Mars Vino, I mean, hard hour, long hours, not good for guys with ADD. I mean, there's a whole bunch of them that are, uh, they're, you know, they're, they're, they're work that is, and I guess that's its, its attraction in many ways, uh, or perhaps most of all, is that it's work that's hard to do. So mastering it would make you feel great about it because you know, you're know you engaged, because you know this is not a simple thing, and if I can do it and do it well, uh, as well as in, in the case of many of these uh, occupations that I looked at, as, as well as the forebears, perhaps my father, my grandfather, well, that's a great thing, and that, that would get you up in the morning, I think. The book is A Good Day's Work in Search of a Disappearing Canada. I've been speaking with the author, John DeMont, and A Good Day's Work, published by Doubleday Canada.